Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at strplay.com. Just showing you the new antenna. Well, it's not really that new. I've had it since the Newark Ham Fest. I replaced the ML200 with this new Benito Mega Loop FX, and before that, I was using the W6 LVP Loop. It's orientated northeast, southwest. As you can see, I have three massive air conditioner units here, the intakes, and I'm somewhat up on a lower part of a hill, and this direction here, it's in a inverted delta loop configuration. So this way exact is about northeast. It faces, I think it's, I don't know the exact degrees, uh, but it is pointed towards Western Europe. And it's fed with LMR 400 Flex. And as you can see here, I do have a, a grounding rod and the grounding strap. And then it comes around and it goes into a one-to-one -one choke. And then it goes into a window pass-through feed, which is made by Comet. And then it goes directly into the shack, uh, also being fed by LMR 400. So let's go inside and see what kind of signals we get with the RSPDX. All right, we got SDR Uno up and running with the RSP DX. We have CSV user list, browser list up and running. Uh, running, which databases do I have in here? Let's take a look. It's EIBI and OKI, A-O-K-I. Uh, and in the bottom right of the screen, you're gonna see a green dot, that's Palm Beach, Florida. And when I click on a station, it should show where the, stands, the station is transmitting from and it should show you long path and short path. Let's make sure we have that set for both long and short. Current time in Wellington, Florida is 6.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 22.15 UTC. I'm gonna stop talking. You guys are gonna take a look down here and see what station it is and take a look on the map and I'm gonna go tuning around. It's, uh, it's almost gray line, close to a uh, borderline. Here, let's zoom in a, a hair. Let's see. It's good enough. Let's see what happens. Let's put this back to normal. I'll pipe down a bit and let's see how the bands are. to nine feet. Wednesday night, east west. Three hundred. 
I wish it had been around when I became a ham in 1972. I bought it in Edwards 520. For, uh, and I'm, I'm already up 30 feet. It's the last, the last. Allí trae la información. En el informe anual sobre terrorismo para el 2018, el departamento. Just so you guys know, that's uh, All India Radio. That's my favorite radio station, believe it or not. And that lands me on the couch most nights when I blast music coming from All India Radio. My wife, uh, I, I test her patience with this station when they're playing music. She also co-founded the Socio-Ecological Union. Agricultores, personas que se dedican a la crianza también. el cuerpo de la guardia islámica iraní los resultados serán muy valiosos para prevenir y mi Cada parador efectivamente atendiendo a su cocina de cercanía, sus productos. Yeah. Yeah, well our 
They let our Sanders go over to them. Well, considering that we're at the bottom of the solar cycle, it's not that bad. And I got to give credit to the antenna that's being used because without using a, uh, a proper antenna for HF, you're, you're not going to get d decent signal to noise ratio. You're going to get a lot of noise. So if you guys are using indoor antennas, get those antennas outside. Get a wire out there as high as possible. Point it northeast, southwest. Just be safe when you uh, erect an antenna. <clears throat> be aware of any electrical power lines, please. And you, you should notice a dramatic difference. Uh, once it does turn to complete darkness here, I'm going to do another video, and the band should really come alive. But it's 622 Eastern Standard Time. It's almost gray line. 31 meters is looking really good. We had some stations on 20 meters. As you can see, I got a nice linear noise floor here, uh, roughly at about 128 dB all the way throughout. Let's just see how... How well that is up and down the band yeah it's, it's pretty linear uh, the mega loop fx is a it's a pricey antenna but it's fantastic i'm telling you it really brings in those weak stations and that's basically it if you guys have any questions or comments uh leave them in the comment section and expect a lot of rsp dx videos i love this radio and i'm not just saying that because i work for the company it's a really good all-around swiss army knife str radio See you guys in the next one, 73.